Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 23rd of November comes to you from London. And the dollar sinking lower the last few days. We're really seeing that uh, just falling away again. So it's looking like this is uh, resistance on the uh, daily chart on the lagging line hitting the cloud. So dollar going weaker. We've activated a downside target of 90.37 on the down, uh, dollar index. That's 3% downside and that would take us to new lows for the dollar. So um, it would be interesting to see whether we can hold this low um, that uh, we, we are seeing because the, the low that we saw on the year 91 is still a long way away. But um, at the moment we are just seeing that and if we break to that 90.37 then we do break below to a new lower low which would be very bad for the dollar. <coughs> Looking at the euro, euro is stronger uh, against the dollar, so we are just seeing that euro strength now kicking back in. So dollar weakness, euro strength, and the Japanese yen uh, we're seeing here um, is the dollar is sinking lower here as well. And a, quite an interesting, quite a few of these upside targets now coming off the chart. We've just got one left. We had four at one stage. Uh, so this dollar weakness is really showing through. Uh, sterling is uh, fairly flat against the dollar, but uh, that's because both currencies are generally weak. And we see that when we get to the euro sterling rate that we are just falling away. Uh, UK budget yesterday, uh, lower predictions of growth, probably starting to have a little bit of an effect on uh, the sterling uh, rate. And we're seeing here against the Swiss franc, it's lower and against Australian dollar just now, just ticking lower as well. Uh, the US stock market closed today for Thanksgiving and it will be fairly quiet tomorrow. We're seeing here um, that we are just closing on a high note for the week. We just came off a little bit yesterday but we're really holding these uh, gains and the Nasdaq also yesterday we saw just rose uh, very slightly um, just keeping us in that all-time high territory and the Dow Jones uh, just coming back a little bit and the Russell 2000 uh, holding most of its gains um, for the previous few sessions still it's sitting at those new high levels so we um, end US markets on a high note for Thanksgiving uh, looking at the futures uh, just down slightly um, and if we go to the uh, FTSE index we're seeing this morning lower again uh, so FTSE just really really struggling uh, UK market looking relatively weak uh, and FTSE 250 much the same the DAX also down this morning by half a percent so it's heading lower bearish below the cloud as well and the Nikkei also below the cloud. Hang Seng looking stronger than most markets, bullish on all three time frames, although it has come back a little bit uh, overnight. And Shanghai, much the same, quite a big sell off there. Uh, so quite a big down day we're seeing showing up on the chart. So into bearish territory as well. So markets um, not having a good session today. Uh, India, um, the one bright spot holding up fairly, fairly well. Uh, and we've got upside targets to four and 5% on the short term. So the Indian market's still looking pretty strong. Uh, the Australian market still just bearish below the cloud but uh, somewhat recovering on the um, daily chart here. We see that uh, little recovery. So Aussie market looking better than it has for a while. And uh, looking at Brent crude, we're sitting at $63, fairly flat at that level. Um, so um, bullish on all three time frames at the moment and WTI much the same picture of course. US nat gas back below the $3 as we predicted and we're seeing here not just just not holding that level. 284 is the short term downside target now. Uh, the one minute chart of course will give you much clearer targets. Uh, looking at the uh, gold chart, gold is back into bullish territory. We rose quite strongly on that weaker dollar yesterday. We're back into the 290s. We're just below 290 at the moment, 289.5, uh, 1289.5. But we are seeing that we have been in as high as 1295 yesterday. Got these upside targets above 1300. So gold is looking like it's recovering on that weaker dollar. And silver, much the same picture, of course. Uh, Apple. Uh, stronger yesterday, going back above the cloud on the short term, so bullish on all three time frames. Google, same as again. Uh, Amazon looking very bullish, kicking up very nicely yesterday. Uh, Facebook holding that 180 level that it, uh, it's been struggling with for a while, but bullish on all three time frames. And Microsoft just struggling a little bit on the short term, so not looking quite as good. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.